This morning in Project Fitness, we have got a great challenge for all of you out there. If you're like me, every so often you know you kind of hit this rut, you want a challenge, you want something to keep your fitness going. So Ryan Bate is here with a two challenges that you can take on for an entire month. Yes, right? uh, 30, 30 full days. It uh, doesn't require much time on your end when you're doing it and it uh, doesn't require much equipment. Mm -hmm. um, and one of the best ways to see this, uh, the greatest part about something like this is you see the progress that you build over the 30 days, which Definitely. is which is really neat. And a lot of times people have a hard time noticing that or recognizing that. And I think when you throw a challenge out there, you're more apt to, to make sure that you stick with your workout Get that little competitive exactly. nature. Exactly, yeah. It holds you accountable, you know. Mm -hmm. So we're challenging you guys out there. 30 full days. To work on either one of these options for you, depending on what okay. we're, uh, what, you, what your preference is. The first one requires just minimal, yep. probably something that you already have at home. Yeah, a whether die. it be a large dice or a small die or you know, however you want to say it. Mm -hmm. um, but the key to this every day, what you're going to do is just roll the dice, and that's going to dictate your time amount in which you're going to do the exercises for. So okay, give it if a roll. we give it a little roll, okay, so we get, oh, great, you get one. <laughs> So what you're going to do is just add a zero onto that. So that would mean you'd perform the exercises for 10 seconds. But say, you know, we want to challenge ourselves just a little bit more and we got, hopefully we don't get a one, but so we get a five. Okay, okay. so perfect. So you put a zero seconds. on it, so 50 seconds of each exercise. So what we're going to do is you, you, you can pick exercises. I got six exercises that I've laid out for you guys. Okay. Um, the first one is a push-up. So what we're going to do is you can do this either on your knees or on your toes. Mm -hmm. I'm going to go down and show you. Michaela can go down too, I guess. All right. Um, when we go down, we want to have our hands right below our shoulders. Yep. Knees are straight when we're doing it on our toes. And what we're mm -hmm. going to do is from there, bending our elbows, engaging our midsection, our glutes, our abdominals, lowering all the way down at 90 degrees and then coming right back up. Don't smash your face on the ground. Okay. <laughs> really <laughs> and then come right back up. So you would do this consecutively for 50, 50 seconds. seconds. Yep. And then you would switch, immediately jump into the switch, next Switch, immediately exercise. jump into the next one, which you can do squats. So we're going to work the lower body. Feet hip width apart, knees bent. What we're going to do is get those hands out in front, squat on down like you're sitting on a seat behind you. Come on up. And the tempo is up to you. The, as the individual. So if you're just beginning, I recommend starting off a little slower. If you're looking for more of a challenge, you can pick up that pace. Mm -hmm. um, the next one we have is going to be lunges. And when we do something like lunges, what you're going to do is have your hands on your hips to start. Step forward one foot. Front knee and front ankle lined up as you come straight down by bending both knees, sticking the chest out, and then standing straight up again. And what you can do from there is continue going on one leg, or you can switch it up, alternate to work both sides. Come up, step back, and then step forward. The key here is keeping that knee and ankle lined up. You don't want to put any strain on your knees. Great. I like um, that we're jumping. We're yeah, mixing just one jumping to the next. And, and, and notice it has a full body routine here. Not the next one, bored. all you need is those simple dumbbells. Okay. Four pounders. Uh oh. I'm, I got it. Yeah, heavy. So we're going to do a shoulder press next. So we're going to focus okay. on the upper part of the shoulders and back area. What you're going to do is start with your elbows up right in line with your shoulders, and that's so important. Knees are bent, body weight to your heels like you're sitting on a seat. And then from there, what we're going to do is press those arms, Michaela, right up over your head, touching the weights right at the top, and then lowering back down right at that, that position there. And again, tempo, depending on how advanced you are with this here, will dictate how much more challenging that mm -hmm. workout is for you. Could add heavier weights you if could you definitely need to do as, so. you, yep, yep, as you progress. Yep, yep, you can definitely do so. Throughout those 30 um, days. The next one we have after that would be some, would, would, I, I wanted to work in some of the cardio aspect to this. Yeah. And uh, we call it boot camp skips or skips. <laughs> and when we do something like that, you know, we're not Dorothy from the Wizard of Oz okay. here. We don't have Toto in a, in, a, in a picnic basket here. So what we're going to do is drive one knee up, bring our arms up over our head, if I get more space here, I feel you can like see why. Super Mario. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> and what we're going to do is drive it up, continue your movement, get nice and high room. up over the head. And you would continue to do that for 50 seconds. Obviously, you had a little more space. And even if we right. just keep on going back and forth, you can see how that's going to really challenge your endurance. So this is one of the challenges to take on. Yes. Really quickly, it's a second one is a running challenge. Yes, yes. Run, run, road show, we call that, all right? Uh, <laughs> like run, that. run, road show, run. Um, so what you're going to do is, for those of you out there who are looking to build your endurance, build uh, running, uh, just add one minute each and every day for, for consecutive 30 days. So start off on day one running for one minute. Mm -hmm. One minute, that's it. Next day, two minutes. Next day, three minutes, and so on and so forth. And you'll be surprised to see how much you improve from one minute to 30 minutes of consistent running over that Crazy. time. Yeah, that's fantastic. Like you said, if you if you don't consider yourself a runner, adding on just one more one minute, minute doesn't seem like a big deal, but over time. Over time. You'll have quite the accomplishment. Exactly. All right, you can do it. We challenge you yes. for 30 days. Keep us updated, too, if you want, on social media. Everything is at The Roadshow.